Former Utah star running back Marcus Thomas has spent his rookie season trying to find an NFL team and sticking with them. Today, he gets another chance. Thomas was signed on to the Dallas Cowboys practice squad today. Cowboys release really safety Vicky Vaughn to make room for the former minor. Thomas was drafted, of course, by San Diego in the fifth round of the draft, released in the preseason and picked up by Detroit. The Lions cut him midseason. He's now a Dallas Cowboy. Of course, he was the Miners' leading rusher for three straight seasons, finishing with 1,166 yards as a senior, including four straight 100-yard games. Five Dallas Cowboys have been named to the Pro Bowl this year, four of them being starters. Tied in Jason Witten, linebacker Demarcus Ware, nose tackle Jay Ratliff, and sitter Andre Girard have been named to the NFC starters in the Pro Bowl. Right guard Leonard Davis is a backup. Linebacker Brady James, quarterback Tony Robo, and wide receiver Terrell Owens were shut out this year. Of course, last year the Cowboys had 11 players named to the Pro Bowl with two additions. Two of MSU football players garnered the All-American recognition today. Wide receiver Chris Williams was named to Phil Steele's All-American third team. And MSU safety Derek Richardson was named Honorable Mention All-American by Sports Illustrated. He led the nation in tackles per game. The UTEP basketball team is putting their loss to NMSU behind them and getting ready to host Texas Tech tomorrow night. It is a quick turnaround, and that's good and bad. Yeah, it gives a chance to get on the court and erase the, the memories of it um, right away. But at the same time, as a coach, you want more time to practice yeah. to prepare. So it's it's kind of double-edged sword, two-folded. It gives us a chance to get back on the court to uh, prove ourselves. I mean, uh, we, let our, we let our fans down, we let our families down, and we let the uh, university El Paso down. So it's... So nice to get back out there to show the fans and uh, show people around us what we can do. Now, of course, we all remember the panic that Texas Southern basketball caused the Miners at the Haskins Center earlier this season. The Miners, of course, held on for a 69-63 win, and tonight they were the Texas Longhorns problem. Texas Southern up late in the first half in this one with a score of 32 to 29. Make it five. Look at this. That's Mike Drewy there to mop up and emphasize. Texas up a point in the second, and big man Dexter Pittman is there. Oh, it's a possible punctuator. Then the Longhorns would finally start to pull away. Texas on the defense. Damian James is going to chase down the loose ball and go Air James. The Longhorns survive Texas Southern 88 to 72. Court on our hosting Montwood tonight in a big one, 5A tilt. We're going to show you how this one ended. With a minute 28 to go, Rams up 34-33. T-Birds with the ball. Julian Marron with the drive and the nice floater. Coronado gets the one-point lead back. Here come the Rams. Jesus Delgado gets the pass off the inbounds, makes the shot. Montwood up 36-35. T-Birds then turn the ball over, and Delgado gets fouled three times, making five of six freebies. Montwood outlasts Coronado 40-35. Couple of boys scores for you tonight. Jeff takes Fabens to double overtime tonight, winning it 79 to 81, and it was all El Dorado over Horizon, 63 to 26. Now, when you look atop the 1-5A girls standings, there are two teams unbeaten in district play tonight. They'd play each other for the outright lead as Americus hosted for, uh, Hanks tonight. We kick this one off with some big D. Now, watch this. Off of the missed free throw, Alexia Candelaria is going to be there to intercept the pass under the bucket. She splits the defenders and puts it up and in, 13-9 to early for Hanks. Blazers, though, are tough at home. Stephanie Portillo open for the three and makes the long three. The Knights, though, outlast the Blazers in this one, winning tonight 55-51. And tonight, this plays for you, Charlotte and Chicago, down three. Derrick Rose has called for the foul as DJ Augustine shooting a three. Replay shows that Augustine was never touched. Augustine makes all three free throws. That tied the game at 94. They go to overtime. Charlotte would win. Oof. Hey, DJ Augustine, for all you do, oh, this plays for, for you. you. Not even oh, touched. Oh. Mm. Heartbreaker. We'll be right back. <laughs>